I have been looking for a long time on how to uh, have another product that um, would replace fiberglass resin for me. Uh, it's, it's just the smell factor. Um, I've been working with it a long time. Um, like it. I know what I'm doing with it. I have done a lot of things with it. Um, but I'm looking for something else to get away from the smell. So I found a, another material. Uh, it's a two-part system that's moisture cured. And I, I used it on this particular piece. It was the first piece I'd actually used. Um, to this point, I'm very satisfied with it. Um, in, an, in another video, I will come back and, um, or on this video, at the end of this video, or on my blog at sculptedartforms.blogspot.com, I am going to uh, give you contact information uh, where to find this product. Um, as I was saying, it is a two-part uh, moisture-cured system, and I'm using one and a half ounce matte fiberglass uh, on this particular finished sculpture. I wanted to mold off of the head um, just like I did on this piece right here. Um, this is just another form. It's a different type form than what this is. And once I get done casting this and I can do my thing here where I create these one-of-a-kind pieces by casting this form uh, then doing sculptural additions on to it and then attaching this to a, uh, another body that I've sculpted and I do different types of finishes and things like this but if you're going to work the, these two part systems like this which um, is thicker than fiberglass resin um, what I found that I have to use is a um, um, a lacquer thinner on the bristles of my brush and when and once I coat this and what I do is I use a like a silica uh, lightweight material which I put into this two part system and I thicken it up so I can just paint it on and it cleans thixotropically so I can go vertical for the applications if I want to but it's still thin enough where it spreads real easy and in a high humidity environment like this shop is in, um, because it's moisture cured, it uh, it goes off pretty quick. You got about 20 minutes to work it before it starts getting too stiff. Um, as the weather cools, you would be, be able to lengthen that to 30 to 40 or 40 minutes probably. But when I dip the bristles of my brush into this, and I lay the fiberglass onto it. When I go to tamp the fiberglass on with the bristles, I just use a little bit of lacquer thinner and it allows me to tamp it on and it lets go of the brush brushes on the uh, the bristles on the brush. It allows me to tamp this in, which I was very surprised how well it actually um, the application went. When I finish this piece um, I'm going to get some thicker material without fiberglass and I'm going to coat this so um, I can slick it up and that will reinforce this flange up here. Um, I will trim all this excess off right here, pop both halves off and then the mold inside is actually a one part. It's not a two parts mold because I don't want very many seams to deal with. There will just be a seam right here at the bottom of the piece and that's it. And uh, once that's done, um, I'll probably do another video and uh, and I'll show creating one of these heads like this that came off of this. Um, and I may even show uh, making the join uh, to the, uh, the, the bulldog body like I do so often with my pieces. And uh, until then... Talk to you later.